Hello everybody and welcome back to the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we have the opening game of the Europa League group stage campaign. Our first time in Europe with Sheffield United. It should be a good one. We're also going to face Manchester United in the league. Following on from the game that will no longer be mentioned from now on, we faced Leicester City at home and we managed to win 3-1. Jean-Pierre, Jerome, Angine and Renato Sanchez getting the goals for us. They got a late uh, consolation through Nani De Mata. We then smashed Fulham 5-0, Erling Haaland with his hat-trick, his first goals for Sheffield United and getting three in this game. Sebastiano Esposito and Alexander Isaac completed the scoring. We then went away from home against Norwich City and won 3 0 on Jean, Danny Olmo, and Erling Haaland with the goals. And just as I thought we were creating such a lovely run, doing so well, not conceding, always winning, we then had a home tie against Wolves and got beat 2 1. So after those games in the league, we currently sit in fifth position on 9 points, 3 wins, and 2 defeats. And that takes us to the draw in the Europa League, which has been done. We have got Krasnodar. PSV and Rangers in our group and our first game in today's episode will be against Rangers. Haaland did pick up an injury, um, I think it was it was the, before the Wolves game, he didn't play for that. So he's been out for a little while, he's still going to be out for another two weeks. So this is the lineup we're going to go with. Jack Butland will start in goal, Bella Kochap in central defence with Angine and Kera. Dodo and Pellegrini as our winging backs and Renato Sanchez and Daniel Olmo in the centre of midfield. Jean-Pierre is going to play in behind Alexander Isaac and Sebastiano Esposito. So obviously being in the Europa League we're only expected to actually get to the group stages which we've completed. So anything above and beyond that the board will be very very happy with. I'm relatively pleased with the groups that has been drawn against us. I think PSV, Rangers and Krasnodar out of all the teams are probably about what you would expect in terms of quality level. So the first game in the group stage campaign will be at home against Rangers. They're playing a pretty attacking system but they are playing on the counter, so we'll have to be wary of that. Opening highlight, free kick, Butland claims. Let's see where we go from here. Isaac brings down Butland's kick absolutely beautifully and plays in Dodo on this right-hand side, who drives down the line and finds Renato Sanchez as he turns back. Dodo gets the ball again, he plays it across, and Alexander Isaac, only starting because Haaland is injured, gets his second goal of the season and puts us in front six minutes in. It was a little bit of a fortunate a set of circumstances that set Dodo away in the box here. Sanchez going for the cross, falls to Dodo. He didn't even look for Isaac. I think he was going for Jean-Pierre in the centre, but Isaac intercepts it and does well to get uh, beat Rory. Is it Rory? Is it Rory? No, it's Robbie McCrory. Robbie McCrory at his front post. Another highlight now. We are in possession in an advanced position. Dodo with a cross that manages to get clear by the Rangers defence, but Danny Olmo plays in Pellegrini on the left-hand side, whips it in. It's cleared once again and maybe Rangers can break here. They don't want to give the ball away to Pellegrini again who's driving down the left hand side. Gets challenged. It, was, it looked like it was on the edge of the box. I don't think it will be a penalty but the referee is going to waste everybody's time anyway. And there we are. There is, there is no penalty. It's just going to be a free kick and whether we're going to make any use of it or not, I do not know. We'll stick with it though. Danny Olmo to take the free kick. He whips it in back post. Uh, we were there, we got the header on target, but the keeper saves and knocks it out for a corner. 35 minutes in now, not a lot happening after the initial burst of highlights and us attacking. Looks like Rangers are starting to come into the game a little bit more, but we're quickly approaching half time. There we are, Sheffield United 1, Rangers 0, decent start by us. Krasnodar currently getting beat by PSV 2-0 away from home, so it looks like PSV might be one of the main contenders in this group. First highlight of the second half and it's also we're currently in possession. Danny Olmo with the cross falls to Renato Sanchez on the edge of the box who hits the bar with a long range strike. With only 25 minutes or so to go it's Rangers currently on the attack with Tavernier on this right hand side. Renato Sanchez and Danny Olmo do well to get rid of the danger and Esposito sets away Jean-Pierre. If Alexander Isaac's got loads of space in the box and he gets his second goal of the game, his third goal of the season, an absolutely deadly pass by Jean-Pierre to play him in behind the Rangers defence. Some really good play by us, Renato Sanchez clearing the ball at Esposito. Decent ball down the line. Jean-Pierre does have to check his run a little bit, but then that's a great pass by uh, Pierre to set up Isaac for an open goal. 2-0. With only about 20 minutes to go, we'll, we'll look to make some changes. Luca Pellegrini can come off alongside Dodo and we'll get our backup win backs on 
in them spots. And we'll get Danny Olmorf as well. John Fleck can come on in the centre of midfield. Another highlight now, John Fleck with a free kick uh, right from about 35 yards. He plays it in and on Jean's there back post and gets his head on it and puts us 3-0. Oh, we've just got a goal from a set piece. The board better be popping the champagne and eat because it doesn't happen very often. John Fleck, great ball in. On Jean's completely unmarked. Keeper should probably save that, but he doesn't. And we go 3-0 up. Oh my God, Rangers have just got a penalty from a handball. I didn't even commentate it because I thought it was going to go nowhere. But Rangers get the opportunity to get one goal back. And it is taken by Tavernier. So there we are, Sheffield United 3, Rangers 1. Only 12 minutes to go, lads, so let's not panic. And Rangers haven't been able to make that goal count. The time is just ticking away. And there we have it, full time. Sheffield United 3, Rangers 1. A decent way to start the group stage campaign. We were expected to get a win there, particularly with us being at home. But um, it's always nice to actually be able to come through it with the victory. And there's the confirmation. PSV did end up beating Krasnodar in the end, but only by the one goal. So we currently sit top of our table. Next up for us is Manchester United in the league. I'll see you there. Here we are. We are at the Manchester United game. There's going to be no changes for today's side, particularly Isaac, who played particularly well against Rangers he will be starting up top alongside Esposito, Jean-Pierre in behind, Olmo Sanchez in behind them, uh, Pellegrini and Dodo, Bella Kutchap, Hunjin, Kerrer and Jack Butland. Manchester United come at us with a pretty pretty brilliant team, um, they've made some good signings, signings Ruben Loftus-Cheek, uh, Tamori, uh, anybody else, Bruno Fernandes, Diogo Jota, you know, they've got a very, very good side. They currently sit above us in the league by one point. Let's get into the match, see how we can do. Early highlight here, five minutes in. Esposito plays the ball in. It's cleared by Grealish. Rashford flicks it on. Thankfully, we retain a possession through Bella Kotchap. Renato Sanchez plays the ball down the line for Dodo on this right-hand side, who cuts in, gets the ball in back post, cleared by Tamori. And maybe now Manchester United might break through Rashford, but thankfully... No, not thankfully. Rashford comes comes ahead with it. I thought Dodo might have won that ball back. Rashford goes for goal. Thankfully, Butland can claim and can keep a hold of it. Another highlight now. Jack Grealish with a corner played in. Kerrer manages to get rid and maybe we can break this time with Esposito. He hasn't got many options ahead of him. Alexander Isaac's up there, but he was marked by like three men, so it was unlikely to be a productive use of the ball. Thankfully, we keep possession, but Pellegrini gets dispossessed with an, by an excellent challenge from Lindelof. And now it's Man United who come forward with some pace with Grealish coming through the centre. They've got so many men there available. Thankfully, he did not go for the pass. And he goes back to Ruben Loftus-Cheek, who switches the player to Marcus Rashford. Back to Grealish. He's drove in behind the defence. He goes for goal, hits the post. Pellegrini clears. We are <laughs> very fortunate there. Another highlight now. Man United on the attack once again. Oh, my God. I mean... How many how many individual errors are going to cost us goals this season? There's another one out of the pile. That's about five or six so far. Um, Dodo this time with an absolutely suicide ball back to the keeper. And Rashford just nips in and gets his third goal of the season. And Man United's first for the game. 1-0. Highlight now corner for us. It's played in. And Esposito gets his head on it. Another set-piece goal. His third goal of the season. And an assist from Danny Olmo. It's not very often we get very corner highlights that actually mean anything. So it's always nice to see one. Esposito rising highest there. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Getting us level relatively quickly. Only four minutes between goals. I'll take it. Very, very close to half time here. But there has been a highlight just beforehand. We are currently in possession. But that doesn't mean much. But Dodo, excellent through ball for Alexander Isaac. And one on one. He cannot beat the keeper. Can I get it on target? So we go in at half time 1-1. One, one. Let's kick off for the second half. First highlight of the second half, 52 minutes in. We are currently in possession with Luca Pellegrini on the left-hand side. Let's see if we can form a chance out of this. Doesn't look like it's going to be us. Bruno Fernandes drives forward for Manchester United after we give the ball away pretty sloppily. And Luke Shaw drives down that right-hand side, gets past his man. But Bella Kotchap manages to get a decent challenge in and can drive forward. Don't go too far, mate. Uh, excuse me, you are a centre-half, please get back on defence, oh what a through ball that was for Dodo, completely does the two men of Manchester United, the ball's played in, oh Jean-Pierre, almost, almost, corner for Man United, Grealish plays it in, back post Lindelof's there, and his header goes just over the bar, 
65 minutes in, there is another highlight, and it's once again in Manchester United's possession. Jean Pierre clears only as far as Grealish played back to Max Aaron's Bruno Fernandes. Poor, poor pass, and we managed to break with Jean Pierre after an interception from Renato Sanchez. Jean Pierre goes all the way and goes for goal. David De Gea manages a pretty easy save in the end, to be honest with you. That wasn't a great strike. 20 minutes to go, we'll look to make some changes. We'll bring on Ender Stevens for Luca Pellegrini on that right hand side. Dodo's been having a good game, so I'm going to keep him out there. And I think I'm actually not going to make any more changes to the side as things stand. We're playing pretty well away from home against Manchester United at 1 1. And our, the strength that we've got on our bench isn't really that great. So, particularly with the injuries and stuff, usually I would have the likes of Isaac to bring on for Haaland. But we'll keep things as we are. Time is just ticking away nicely. I will happily, happily take a draw away from home against Manchester United. But there will be one final highlight in the game. Let's see where this leads us. Anthony Martial drives forward down the centre for Man United. Goes for goal. Butlin claims it pretty easily. Um, and unless there is something else to come, that was the highlight maybe. Dodo's driving down this right-hand side. He's done one man. Manchester get the ball in back post. Ender Stevens can't keep the ball in though. And it goes out for a goal kick. And there we have it full time. Manchester United 1, Sheffield United 1. A decent result from us. Um, away from home against Man United is always going to be difficult. Going down one one goal down inside 15 minutes is always difficult as well. But thankfully, Esposito was on hand to get the equaliser pretty quickly after that. So after that game, we currently sit in sixth position on 10 points. Three wins, one draw, two defeats. Um, decent, decent start. Pretty much on par, I would say. I don't think we've particularly outdone ourselves, but we haven't um, been terrible either. So I think that's just about where you would expect us to be. And obviously a decent first result in the Europa League as well against Rangers. Looking forward to the next episode. It will be Krasnodar and Crystal Palace who we will play in the Europa League and Premier League respectively. Uh, look forward to that. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.